Greetings! I'm Rob Chapman. This is a very, very, very beautiful Mule Resonator. Uh, the Mule Resonator is one of the finest resonators you can have custom built and order and love and enjoy. This particular guitar is, is only a couple of years old. I bought this to record some Clockwork Wolf and Company um, tracks for the new album, Time is the Enemy. And yeah, it's, uh, it's a custom-built American red-blooded resonator that costs, you know, I mean, they start at around $4,000 and then up for different options, like whether you want a pickup fitted or, um, you know, how many cones, is it a single cone, tricone, um, that kind of thing. Other than that, it's, it's just a beautifully built, well-made American resonator. And I would argue that a resonator is one of those guitars that you kind of need in your, in your armory. Everyone needs the Holy Trinity, you know, Strat, Tele, Les Paul, and then an acoustic. And when you've got those and you're kind of secure in your realization that you have the majority of the flavors that you're gonna need, then you start looking at banjos and resonators. And I reckon a resonator is there because it's great for writing on. You know, they're louder. Uh, they have a, a more sort of esoteric creative tone than the everyday acoustic. It's just a little bit different. And for me, as a lover of, you know, Americana flavored, kind of bluesy mountain holler stuff, for me, the resonator is the perfect writing implement. You could spend five, six grand and get yourself a mule resonator. And I would absolutely recommend that if you had that kind of money, you did that. It's a beautiful instrument with some incredible tones. However, if you don't have five or six grand and you were thinking, yeah, you know what? I'd like to get a resonator, but you know, maybe I have 500 euros or less. Well, Harley Benton has got your back. And um, <clears throat> I was surprised, to say the least. So let me show you what <clears throat> 500 bucks gets you from Harley Benton. This is the custom line CLR Electro uh, Resonator. It's essentially kind of the same. It's a single cone, uh, 19 frets. It has a single pickup, just like my mule. And well, I mean, to say it's beautiful is an understatement. Look at it. It is absolutely stunning. Um, yes, it's, you know, it's made of metal, <laughs> which is then um, coated in a very shiny looking metal. Um, so it isn't necessarily as authentic as this steel uh, clad, classy lassie with the stunning chassis. Um, but look at it. It's absolutely stunning and it's shining silver and gold accompaniments. And why don't we take a listen? Thank you. 
Yes, a fraction of the price, and yet it is an absolutely passable, beautiful resonator. I am really quite taken aback. I had no idea that Harley Benton made resonators. Uh, they seem to make, frankly, everything. Um, it has a Wenge, Wenge, Wenge fretboard. It has a mahogany neck. Even the back Ooh. is beautiful. Look at that. The custom line is kind of a thin body, so it does lack a little bit of the acoustic um, low end, some of the warmth that you would get from, say, a 6,000 pound uh, mule. Um, but then this is designed really to fit someone that's been playing electric or, or um, smaller bodied acoustics and feel comfortable. And it really does feel comfortable to sit down and jam with. <laughs> I love it. I think it's really, really cool. Obviously, this is all laser etched and it's done to perfection. The neck feels kind of like a, a nice, slim C shape. Um, by comparison, the mule has an absolutely huge, um, almost V type neck, which I really enjoy. And for stability, I mean, it's un you know, unbelievably stable. You could put anything on it and it would stay in tune. This is much more like the neck of, say, a Taylor acoustic. single gold coloured um, single coil, looks like a lipstick type pickup. Uh, and all it says in the spec is, you know, the materials, that it is a metal bodied covered, a metal body <laughs> covered with aluminium, which I suppose you'd expect. Um, and yeah, you know what, I've been looking for flaws so that I could be the guy who was honest and give you, you know, oh and there's a thing with it that I would change or this isn't done as well. Honestly, there aren't any. <laughs> it's just a really good, affordable, rezo electric. And I reckon if you're looking for a really good quality but affordable resonator, you should check this out. Even the knobs have like a faux mother of pearl inlay on top just to make it even more beautiful for you. I'd be really interested to know which one you thought sounded best, electric or acoustic. Was it the 6,000 plus sterling mule resonator or is it the sort of four to five hundred buck custom rezo harley benton to me both of them sounded like a pair of angels weeping into my ears i hope you've had an amazing day take it easy chappers out